Well, we're moving into the entertaining season. We want you to find it easy. So our tech expert, Winston C, is here to help us out. <laughs> that we're talking about entertaining because it is my favorite time of year well maybe second to summer but it's nice to know that we're gonna ha be having people over uh, and entertaining but it does get stressful it if you're does. not organized it does you know you have your dinner parties you have to think about what to shop for yeah. then you have to send invites out to people and you have to organize all of that and some people host more than one party or even if you're going to parties um, th there's a lot so you want to use technology and apps to organize your life and I think that's how you manage a lot of your stress right so you can actually rely on apps out there to help organize your inbox and organize your life. What have you got for us that might be helpful? Well, the first one I have it comes down to your email. So okay. uh, whether you're using Gmail or you're using Outlook, there are things you can do within your email system to organize things like invites, whether you're sending or receiving them. So mm -hmm. uh, you can set up folders on your email. So uh, drag in those, mm -hmm. those invites into places. So if you have, you know, a holiday party or if you have a Thanksgiving party, you can put all of those events there and put all of those invites into places. But what you can also do is set up rules within your email inbox. So okay. certain emails from certain people will automatically go into the folders so you're organizing the content. They go, they, the, the goal is to have inbox zero, which is oh you have nothing gosh, in your inbox. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Right? My inbox is out of control. But that's interesting. So you can, you can actually um, target certain people to go to certain places, including to the delete. <laughs> the, the delete. The delete if you want to delete certain you invites. Just you just go can. right into the garbage. You can. That's interesting. So then, then you've got less mental clutter to deal with on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis. Exactly. Now one of the other things too, uh, while you are entertaining, is all the photos, right? Yes. I'm that person that takes multiple photos of everything. Me you too. Snap, 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 and you want yes. the perfect version, right? But your phone often gets cluttered and full of, of photos. So yeah. this is one of the apps. It's called Duplicate Photo Fixer. And what okay. I love about this app is it lets you group all of the photos. It'll go through your phone, it'll go through your computer, it'll group those those photos into uh, clumps almost, yeah. and you select the one that you want to keep, yes. and it'll go through and delete all of the duplicates so you're optimizing mm. the storage within your phone to yes. save space. Oh my gosh, that is so smart. You only need one selfie, guys, just the one. But we have to just take multiple the one. versions, But right? we took 36, I yeah. know. We've all been there we've there's a hair that. out of place in one of them right <laughs> right and you want the version that's not blurry and that's in yes. focus that is very smart now, I like that app. the other thing, too, is syncing your memories. We all, before we head into entertaining season, you know, sometimes our phones die on us. And yes. one of the things that I always get, questions I always get is, you know, I've lost my photos. I've lost access to my phone. And I'm like, did you back up your phone? I know. And people say they haven't. They, oh, I forgot. They make up all these excuses. Well, um, one of the things that you can have on your phone, I, I use Google Drive and Dropbox. What I love about Dropbox is it lets you automatically sync a lot of your photos up to the cloud mm -hmm. it's it's one of the places that's secure so you know that people aren't hacking into that and getting access to your personal photos right. and it'll automatically do it for you over over time so maybe when you're sleeping at night you plug in your phone it'll sync all of your memories up to uh, up to the cloud the other thing too is if you're an iPhone user remember to turn on your iCloud backup so right. so you go into iCloud settings click backup and turn on iCloud backup and when you're sleeping at night and you're connected to Wi-Fi it'll automatically sync all that information up. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that difficult to do. No. You just have to go there and click the get it done. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, speaking of to-do lists as well, um, there's an app called Remember the Milk. You know when you have like you know, a million <laughs> things to do, you have to buy all these products. This is an, a fantastic uh, task management app, and it's okay. a website, and it syncs to all of your devices. You can put all that information in, and you can categorize kids. You can categorize, uh, you know, party supplies. You mm -hmm. can categorize, you know, food. And it'll take all of that information, and it'll automatically sort it into subcategories, and you can sign all of the food to your husband and tell your husband to take care of it. Mm, right? I like it. Right? So it's organizing for you. Yeah. You're, you're inputting the information like your to-do list and it's basically putting it in categories for you like organizing it. Exactly and to take it one step further what it can do is it can connect to a lot of your email services back to your emails okay. and it can comb through all of the invites and it will oh. automatically 
put in a lot of those invites and things that it'll automatically think that you'll need to do. It'll yeah. go in to remember the milk and create automatic entries for you and you can just go through and sort who needs to take care of what. So smart. That is great. Okay, are there any more? This is a lot. Uh, this is a lot. And the other thing that I also want to talk about is a good device, right? Yes. So this is the Microsoft Surface Pro 4, okay? I'm yeah. going to turn it on here. And you can see it's a full functioning tablet. You can just see how thin it is. Look how thin it is. But it's got a keyboard attachment to it. So you've got a full functioning tablet. And then once you're done, you plunk it back in and you've got a tablet. Cool. And it's a full Windows 10 computer. You can load all of your favorite apps on here, uh, including a lot of the ones we mentioned. Yeah. And using this, you're able to stay productive, whether you're at home, on the go, or uh, you know, if you want to have this as a family computer, it could circulate as a family entertainment device. Because it's nice and thin, it's light, mm -hmm. it's portable, uh, which is great.